So the VAXIM trial was a trial in recurrent glioblastoma. The uh, trial took place in a phase when a patient would be progressive with the glioblastoma after standard of care or a later stage of the disease and would have a tumor that in principle could be resected but would not need an immediate surgery. So we had some window where we would treat the patient with a vaccine and then treat and wait and would do surgery to see whether we would see tumor infiltrating specific antigen specific cells in the tumor tissue. So the main purpose was safety, whether it's feasible of course again, and the, the third approach was whether we would see a vaccine specific response in the um, resected tumor tissue. The vaccine is very specific, it's an oral vaccine which makes it very specific. It's um, a vaccine coming from salmonella, so it's um, based on the salmonella backbone. It's a very versatile vaccine where you can introduce um, DNA against basically any antigen that you would imagine. We chose the uh, um, VEGF receptor 2, so vascular endothelial growth factor receptor 2, as an antigen because this receptor is pretty specifically expressed in the glioblastoma, as a high expression in the glioblastoma, and would be attractive according to preclinical data as a target for um, the vaccine. The vaccine itself was um, easy to administer. We basically had no real serious adverse event. We had some slight diarrhea, which you would expect from the salmonella backbone. So it's, um, it's um, taken up the gut. It's actually creating an immune effect and the immune response, the immediate immune response takes place in the gut. So there is where the T cells are generated and then hopefully they are starting to flow and, and reach the brain tumor. So this is how the, how the process works. We treated um, 16 patients until now. Um, only um, 10 of those 16 patients got a re resection. So we, had, we were a little short on that, but this is understandable because patients could opt out. If they were satisfied with the treatment or if they had problems, they could opt out. What we saw in those um, vaccinated and resected patients is that we are indeed producing a tumor um, 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 bad um, response with um, um, vaccine-specific T cells. So this is successful. We have a very nice um, success in the blood. And we also, and this is very um, reassuring for the approach, we had objective responses. So we had patients where the tumor really shrank with um, the treatment with a vaccine. What we did in the trial, because the trial would formally end after the surgery, we would um, allow patients to stay on the vaccine for as long as they would benefit according to their and our assessment. And we would also allow to um, have a checkpoint inhibitor introduced. And this is actually the outlook. There is a next trial already planned and submitted to the regulatory authorities and ethics committees where we are doing a similar approach, randomized between the vaccine, the checkpoint inhibition and the vaccine plus the checkpoint inhibition because our desire, of course, is to um, enhance the um, tumor bat um, um, efficacy of the vaccine.